The first half of Silly Superstition is not too bad. I actually thought this was going to be a really entertaining cartoon. I actually kind of laughed out loud at something that happened early on. And then after about the halfway mark, I didn't time it, but roughly about halfway through, it just begins to slow down and becomes really repetitive. This is a little eight ball cartoon from 1939. It's directed by Bert Gillett, written by Gillett, Walter Lance and Victor McLeod with a voice cast, including Mel Blanc and Danny Webb. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about the character of Lil Eight Ball. I talked about the character in a bit more detail in a previous discussion. But needless to say, it's not the best character from Walter Lance Productions. I'll focus just on the story in this particular discussion and also the animation quality. And this involves trying to debunk the idea that superstitions exist, basically. Lil Eight Ball with his dog approach different classic superstitions and Lil Eight Ball tries to prove that nothing bad is going to happen if, for example, you walk under a ladder. He does this, nothing bad happens, so the dog goes under and I'll talk about what happens in a moment with that because I found that to be very, very funny. And then they bring along the black cat. I rather like the black cat. I thought the cat was very well animated. I like the movements of the cat, very slick and very uh, very much a cat who loved itself, which is, let's face it, if you're a cat owner, you know what that's like. And then something happens with a lion, and the pretty much the rest of the cartoon is about this lion, and I found it to be really dull and boring. To begin with, it was a little bit exciting. I liked the animation of the lion. Visually, the lion looks quite good. But what they did with this character and where the story went, I just found that it was very dull and it set itself up to seem like it was going to be trying to debunk all of these silly superstitions and then with disastrous effects and that sounded so exciting and it started off really really well and I was looking forward to what other superstitions they were going to bring into it but instead they just decided to run with this whole lion thing and I just found it to be not not a very well written episode at all. The animation in general is not too bad. We have a nice amount of detail. We have, well, one bit again that I found very funny and I'll mention it in a moment with a spoiler warning. But it's not a great cartoon. It could have been and the first half was okay. But after that, it just went downhill. And ultimately, I didn't really enjoy most of it. But there were a couple of good bits. So do I recommend it? I mean, the character of Lil 8 Ball is kind of problematic anyway. So I don't really recommend it very much. But... To begin with, it's not too bad. If it sounds like it would appeal to you, give it a watch. But if you're just looking for a good cartoon, I'd say don't bother. It's not very good. So I will now, with a spoiler warning, just tell you the bit that made me laugh out loud because it took me by surprise. So this is a spoiler for what I consider to be the best part of the cartoon. So after Lil 8 Ball's dog goes under the ladder wearing a blindfold, he doesn't stop running and he goes up and up and up these stairs on the side of this building and just when you think he's reached the top, it keeps going and keeps going and there is some construction at the very top and he runs into like some scaffolding or a support beam or something and the entire building collapses the entire thing crumbles to the ground and obviously that's horrendous but it was just so much and I didn't expect it to be quite so chaotic quite so early on so I found that to be very amusing and I kind of hoped the whole thing would be like that with all of these ridiculous outcomes for superstitions unfortunately that's not the direction they chose to take and I'd say after, you know, the thing with the cat, the, I think the cat was the next thing and that was pretty good. But then after that, it just stopped being interesting. So it could have been great. But unfortunately, Silly Superstition just ended up being, I'd say, average at best. 